So first, I'd like to say with great sincerity, welcome back. I see you're still in a bit of shock after that brief ceremony. All things considered. Not what you were expecting. No, sir. I, uh, just don't know what to say. Skipping two ranks? That's pretty big. And I hope you know, especially with you being a Marine. I'm still taking orders from you. I just can't have it any other way. Understandable, Trigger. I've consulted with certain associates on this one, though. What happened to you and Pick Me is absolutely inexcusable. It was wrong. Even with you two becoming captain, I know for an absolute fact that it isn't enough to make up for the undeserved suffering that was inflicted upon you. The muddied reputation that was just thrown at you. Whoever this organization is, everything they did to you and whatever they're planning to ensure the world is turned against you is despicable. Half our country's population is playing right into their hands. They're doing it completely blind, all because they want to feel like good people. Certain civilians back home want to feel like good people by abiding by the word of mainstream media. And that word is still that you're guilty, which is an outright lie, and I'm sick of it. You have no idea how appreciative I am for everything you and Lunar have done for us. I think, above all else, I'm just really grateful. I can't thank you enough. If Pick Me were awake and here in this office with us right now, she'd say the same. You are absolutely more than welcome, son. And like I said, the good news is there's more of us in on this now. Way more of us. You've met Davidson during a sortie taking place in the Waiapolo Mountains, and I hear he's confirmed with you and pick me that he's a part of our team, so to speak. He may be a mercenary, but that gives us an edge. That was a very pleasant surprise, by the way. Wow, what a legend that man is. And it's really got me fired up to know that he's got the leverage he has in order to have Ustio greenlight that sortie and have us fight alongside him over there. Me and Pick Me, our morale shot straight up through the canopy knowing he had our backs. Talk about an adrenaline rush. It was amazing to see Cypher. THE Cypher in action. My god. Huh. So I take it this is what you called me here to talk about? Perfect choice of topic. I could go on about that bad son of a bitch for days. Yes, actually. I was curious to know about how long he's been in this fight. You know, the real fight. Well, let's just say, if it wasn't for him, Lunar might have been murdered by a Belkin operative as far back as during the month of May. Oh my god, seriously? With his old buddy having fought alongside infantry, he learned some ground tactics himself and eventually learned a whole other level of warfare. He can manipulate spies into his grasp to kill them off, just like he did with that Belkin operative. After dispatching the commander of a black ops team known as Grove Cloaks, he found out the Erusians had already greenlit the arsenal bird you encountered for the first time. He got into their comms, contacted that operative, and communicated with him as if greenlighting that arsenal bird depended on him obtaining mission intel, and then exfiltrating the area. He was subtle with how he was rushing him because he's now experienced in high-speed operations himself. He knew that operative would settle for the limited priority intel and retreat. And now because of Cypher, we know how to take down an arsenal bird, so that's a plus. My god, he just does it all, doesn't he? He's the whole package. I told you I can go on about that bad son of a bitch for days. He's the baddest I've ever met. I'm honored to have even talked to him. This is just ridiculously awesome, oh my god. I know, I don't even need coffee anymore because of how seriously badass this topic is. Oh no, damn. Shit, I'm out of lead. Quick, take this pencil. I have like ten of them. Thanks, Trig. All right, we're good to go. The destruction of one of their arsenal birds has significantly reduced the scale of Arusha's air defense network. Ocean forces have moved into the areas where we gained air superiority and freed over half of the Yuzhin continent. However, Arusha is feeling the pressure and is reacting by attempting to activate the ballistic missile base in the suburbs of Sierra Plata. For the past 72 hours, they've put their resources and people into action, and have already entered the final stages of a launch. The missile silo is deep underground. To destroy it, we'll need a bomber to drop a huge deep penetration bomb in a precise place. Unfortunately, that airspace is thick with clouds at the moment, so it'll be difficult for a bomber to hit the target accurately. Normally, we'd wait for the weather to clear, but with the situation being what it is, we don't have that option. So, we will be the bomber's eyes and find the missile silo.
You'll all be equipped with targeting pods instead of special weapons. We need you to fly at low altitude, visually identify which silo they're activating, then acquire it with your targeting pod. Once you press the firing switch, the bombers will drop their payload based on the location data provided by the targeting pod. You will need to keep the silo in the center of your sight until the bomb hits its target, or else it will miss entirely. It takes a high level of airmanship to properly guide these bombs to their targets while flying a plane. Naturally, we assume the enemy has positioned anti-air artillery and aircraft in the area of operations, so stay alert. Additionally, we suffered human and material losses in the last battle, so Cyclops Squadron will sit this one out. Trigger, it's up to you to make this work with just Strider Squadron. Roger that. Trigger. Yeah? I'm... I'm proud to be your Rio. Well, you know what? I'd always choose you. Arugia only has five IRBM silos in total. Therefore, the enemy's made a number of fake silos to try and throw our bombers off the scent. Boy, that sounds familiar. Is it fake? They're painted to look like the real thing from the sky. You can't tell the difference. Fake silos, solitary. It's the wing of that LRSFG that brought down that arsenal bird. We got the bomb. You do the terminal guidance. Roger that, high flyers. In order to use the targeting pods, you'll need to change weapons first. Try to align the missile silo with the circle in the center of your HUD. When you're lined up, hit the firing switch and the bomb will drop. We still got that training in us. You're gonna need to keep the silo aligned until the bomb hits. It's been a while, but we should be good. We'll keep the targeting pod trained on that silo until the payload is delivered. Bunker Buster hit its mark. Time for fireworks. Assuming it isn't a fake. Destruction of first missile silo confirmed. The IRBM is aimed at the OCS garrison. Soldiers' lives are at stake. We have no time. They've completely lost it. You can bet on it. Dropping another bunker buster will take some time. Aim carefully. You know what? Keep an open ear for enemy comms, Pygmy. That might speed things up. Shit, that's a good idea. We have the reinforcements! Hey, so they're freaking out. We gotta be on the right track. Yeah, we know they aren't faking that kind of panic, that's for sure. Strider 1 to high flyers, make ready. Target confirmed. Dropping the bomb now. Look! There's fire shooting up from the ground. Strider 1, Longcaster verify. Missile silo destroyed. That makes two. No launch signs yet. That's clear. We might be able to pull this off. Let's keep it up and get the rest of these silos. Bogey's on picture, Longcaster. Picking up an enemy squadron. It must be the reinforcements they called in. They don't appear to be going after our bomber. Stay frosty for me, pick me. Take them out if they interfere with our mission. Fuckers are in pursuit. I see one merging. Third one is no. inner picture trick. Let's show no. them that's a mistake. No. There's a clusterfuck of them with their noses all over the place. If this is their best, their numbers don't mean shit. They probably know. They're just giving us something to murder. Behind target, attack Oh, there he goes. Those Fox 2s are still on his ass. Ah! Strider 1, locked on target. That's another splash. Let's bring him to the tangos. So we did it. That takes care of that. Nice work. The other Strider boys are on him. Good shit, Strider. Keep him terrified. Strider 4, Fox 2. Strider 1, we're in the corner. Firing the bunker buster. Whoa, that's a heavy toy! This is a serious mission. Who's a wise man who gave Strider to your counter? You remember last sortie? A formation changes every mission. Wait, really? I'm sure he has a reason for it. I'll believe that when I see it. I'm just glad he won't be there to chew my ear off. You're just happy with me roasting you the whole time, huh? Missile silo destroyed. Where do we look next? You say you got one of those radars discount? Ah, uh, the sky feels open and free today. As a Cyclops, I felt like a bird in a cage. Okay, emo boy. Once this mission's over, I guess we'll be back under the company commander's thumb again. Ah, what a pain in the ass. There he goes, talking over Longcaster again. Don't worry, Count. You'll find someone that understands you, maybe. Train sights, pick me. Bunker, bunker away. Fucking shit. This is nothing compared to what we faced in the last mission. Yeah, kind of a breeze so far, not gonna lie. That was a fake. Bandit on our six. I'm on flares. Strider one defending. Come and get us, Ruzies. Let's see you give away the real locations of those launch sites. Visual on a bandit dead ahead. A couple angels high. Strider one, Fox two. Missile inbound. Missile inbound. Oh, I saw his torso spinning to the ground. We gotta talk about your obsession with gory stuff sometime. Don't tell me that shit doesn't fascinate you too, Trig. Come on. Okay, you got me there. Target confirmed. Dropping the bomb now. Right on the money. You're talking about us, right? Hit. 
Target destroyed. Okay, just making sure. The harder they are, the harder they are to find. Good luck. Fuck these Sam sites, man. We might make it. There's one silo left. Wait, already? You're killing it, Pygmy. Hey. I'm like a wolf that's been let off its leash. These guys won't know what hit him. Watch your tail. I thought you were a bird. Oh, please, birdcage count was so two minutes ago. Strider weren't defending. Watch your chaff and flare supply. Damn it, fuck off, Sam Sites. Shit. You hear these bruisies getting butt hurt? This is Grand 7, the tech failed. Hostile has a lock. Yeah, but they don't get to fucking be angry at us. That only messed me up. You see where my gun is? Oh, they fucked up now. Cremate these fucking piss ants. I see one seven o'clock low. All right, I'm taking vertical advantage. Don't get too cocky. Take out the fighters and they get in the way. Are you eating again? Eject from that, motherfucker! Targeting gun range. Five minutes remaining. Six o'clock and climbing, Trey. Good shit, I see him now. Wait, really? 
This is just a Tomcat, though. Pretty sure this is the fastest we've ever flown. Jeez. I'm going evasive for good measure, and we'll pick up speed again. Well, the missile's defeated, so we're good. All right, back to full throttle. We're in visual range, Longcaster. Not too high just yet. It's nearing Angels 5. Come on, come on, baby. Give us a lock. Box 2! Please be the last one. All the missiles have been destroyed. Oh, thank God. I was cutting it pretty close. I'm starting to get a little nervous. You're telling me. You had a sweating up here. And there wasn't even anything we could do about it. Glad we were partnered with you on this operation. Hey, this is Trigger, though. That went about as expected. Be sure to include in the report how much ass I kicked while off the company commander's leash. Boy, that's not saying much. Roger that, and I'll be sure to include all the crap you said about Wiseman, too. Counts in trouble? Yes, report it right away. Report it like a hundred times. Well, you are the flight lead after all. Hey, what the hell? Where is everyone? Huh, weird. Hey, actually, you know what? We're early. Oh, shit. That's right. That was a quick sortie. They probably weren't expecting us back so soon. Yeah, dude. We're like the only squad members here. So, like, after debrief, what do you want to do? I was thinking of taking a nap, to be honest. Yeah. We should probably catch some Z's after that whole mess. I'm gonna go check up on our gear, and then catch up with you then. Oh hey, you know what? While you're there, you should tell Mitch and his Rio that not everyone thinks they're psycho. I mean, after the shit you and I have been through, I'm ready to listen to anything wild or anything about something from out of this world and whatnot. You know what I mean? Like, it's like you said, the way this world is headed, the shit that's being uncovered. If what those two say is true about where they're from, and I'm betting it is. I feel for those guys. So give it to me straight, Mr. Mechanic. What does she think of me? Okay, first off, I'm not a mechanic. Okay then. Whatever you are. You know the girl I'm talking about, right? I used to see you hang around her a lot back at the Triple Four before you shipped out here a week before the fighter pilots got pardoned. Well that, Mr. Petzelneck, is because I was doing what I was told. I didn't have a choice, you understand? So she was calling the shots? So to speak, sure. Listen. If you must know, you weren't even on her radar, last I remember. Alright? I know this is really hard for you to hear, but trust me on this one. You were not her type. Yeah, well, you're not even from a real country, so there's that. Oh, for God's sake, listen to you. You think I give a shit about her? Is that what this is? If you really don't care, then you won't mind if I swoop in. And why didn't you do that two months ago? Oh, that's right, because you're too much of a coward. I was brave enough to be in a place that's constantly bombed. And you always run away when I ask you a simple question. Why are the Erujian prisoners treated better than the OCS? What? That's not true. Man, you've been hanging around that trigger menace too uh, much. Nope. I'm around his Tomcat a lot because I'm familiar with it, but that doesn't make him my buddy. Then where'd you get that info? It's a simple observation. Something that should be a part of your job, don't you think? Well, I never saw anything like that. Oh, but of course you didn't. Why would a Ruzi lover like you ever notice such a thing? <laughs> Wow. Boy, that sure explains everything now, doesn't it? Whatever, man. You're not even right in the head. I don't know why they even let you near a plane. Sounds more dangerous than all the stuff that's been happening lately. Hey, Newsflash. Everything about me is dangerous. Even my Rio would tell you that. All the more reason not to be around Oh, well, you. that's just perfect. I hope you never talk to me again. Yeah, bye bye Lawn Gnome. No one wants to talk to you. Fuck you, snob. You know what? Lawn Gnome versus Hobbit? Now that would be an interesting fight. <laughs> Wait, what's a hobbit? That's me. That's, uh, my call sign. Nah, I already knew that. I see Mitch call you that all the time. I just don't know what a hobbit is. Do you, is. uh, call me Mitch for short? I mean, or is it because half my name tape got torn off? I understand either way, no offense taken. Huh. It's a little bit of both, I guess. You know, I gotta say, I almost didn't recognize you two without your beards. I guess that's the bright side of being branded as crazies in a penal unit. Out here, we don't get that luxury, though. So, back to regs for us. I mean, uh, don't get us wrong, we definitely prefer hot meals. You know, I was gonna ask about something else, like who Goose is. Maybe I shouldn't go there. So you saw our dust collector, huh? At first it was whited out, but ever since we were made to land at the Triple Four, he had that name decaled on there instead of mine because we got in a fight. I've only been his Rio for training and... one sortie that got us here. And of course for when we had to ship out to this base. It's just really weird. The both of you could easily pass as one of us. Well, thankfully, they still make us wear our own flag patches, which is nothing like you've ever seen before, obviously. I get ya. I just... Truth be told, I believe you both about a... Well, 
where you guys come from. I just wish I could see you two in action. Would be nice to see another Tomcat fly with our unit for a change anyway. Yeah, well, everyone else can call us crazy all they want. But you know as well as we do, we're not from here. At least you know. All right. Diagnostics. Check. That's about all we're good for around here, but if it's any consolation, you're not going crazy. Your helmet definitely reads different damage percentage than triggers sometimes. As for the random reset in the middle of your last sortie, I got nothing. Can't explain that one. I mean, hey, that's more than I can ask for. Even the comms have been weird since my very first sortie with Trig. No one's ever been able to figure it out. Not our first crew, not Mead, no one. So you're saying it never happened during training? Yep. Never had anything weird happen until a real deal fight. Uh, I should never have taught you. Now you know too much. By returning here tonight, you've given me a second chance. What is art? It can be joyful, loving, a place to escape to. But along with that, it can be exclusive. It shouldn't be sanitized. No matter how hateful or problematic some may seem to feel about any of it, no one can stop it. It can be expressed by one or many on one piece. But being human, or any kind of living being, doesn't grant entitlement to collaborate with someone else's expression of how they view reality. And those who seek to hinder how that art is expressed by someone else will be replaced. Their activism will be their undoing. What is art? It isn't all pain. It isn't all love. It's all of the above. <laughs>